Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, so today's video is actually going to be in response to one of my first videos that I've posted and it's recently just clicked over 1000 views. So thank you everyone for making that possible. Um, and that's a video on my DIY DC motor model. Now that video, particular video that I'm talking about, um, I originally uploaded it, it was just about 10 seconds or so just of it running. Um, just to kind of get videos up there, but it's also just a little project that I made. Um, so since it's so popular, I'm just going to be doing a bit more in-depth explanation of that motor. So hope you enjoy. So here we are. I've just used a scrap bit of three quarter inch pine here to mount it on. Nothing special. You can use anything you want, really. Um, I was going to make a nice base for it, but I just didn't grin around to that. Um, here we've got a quarter inch steel axle or drive shaft. I think that I just took that out of an old fan if I remember right. Um, that's then supported by these two timber supports there. Um, and they just have a brass tube going through each of them just to act as a kind of bushing to help reduce the friction there. Now, bull bearings would be better, uh, but they can kind of be hard to find as scrap, um, different things like that. Uh, moving on, we've got the armature slash rotor here. It's a uh, dual rotor, as you can see by the two spools of wire. Um, this is actually made out of bolts. You see there, that's a, two bolts two washers on either end to hold the wire in place um, that turned out quite well winding the wire then both of those ends of wire get they're connected together it's one bit of wire and then the other bit of wire here both ends are connected to this split ring um, uh, split ring commutator sorry and they're soldered to that and the purpose of the split ring commutator is to just um, alternate the current to attract these two polar ends to the magnet at different times as it rotates. Um, so I made that commutator just out of this brass tube again. I cut a small section and cut it through the middle so it split. Um, I then held that to the shaft with a bit of JB World putty. Now that probably isn't the best idea of adhesive there, um, but it seemed to work okay. Uh, the problem I did have with this though, putting that commutator on, I lost a bit of concentration and didn't think it mattered where to put the rings, but in fact it does matter in that it orientates itself with the armature and the magnets there. So moving on to that, these are my brushes. They're just thin brass sheet. You also just use uh, copper out of a copper pipe there would work well. Um, and these are where my electrical cords attach. So I just used um, alligator clips to attach to that just around either point here, positive and negative. Now, that then goes through and as it turns around, you can see that it touches that commutator on different sides. Um, if I was to do it differently next time, probably try and use copper as the brass here, since it's not perfectly uh, cylindrical, it sparked out quite a lot and the zinc ended up kind of burning out of the brass and oxidizing the surfaces. Um, I just put this little toy fan on the end of it, which is basically just for looks and novelty, but it did help calculating the angular velocity of the fan. Moving around, we have um, the magnets here. And this is one of the main problems I had. I made all of this and it seemed all good. Hooked it up, 
and it wasn't really starting. It wanted to start, but the problem I had with that is I didn't have this. So I only had this one magnet, which is quite a sizable neodymium magnet. Um, and that's been drilled and just hot glued into the base there. So although that was a powerful magnet, it didn't quite work. So I found another magnet, not the same size. It would be better if it was. And I mounted it on this piece of scrap bent steel there. Um, and then after I did that, it worked great. Um, so I made, I attached the armature onto the shaft by just this little block of timber. Drilled a hole through there for the shaft and a hole through there for both bolts to go in. I then hot glued all of that in together um, and a bit of hot glue to secure the wire from unraveling it. Um, so there it is guys, just a nice quick explanation, a bit better than the 10 second video. They just bolted into the base there, could be glued in either way. Um, so then I'll finish off with a video of it running. So that's the motor guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed and with the other video I know that 90% of you who are watching it aren't subscribed so if you'd like to see more of this content and a range of other interesting content um, please hit the like, subscribe button and leave comments down below. Thank you very much.